Hey friends, today I'm gonna to show you how I make protein bites. Now, my husband loves these, and I try to keep a batch of them in the fridge at all times because between my husband and my kids, someone is always hungry all the time. So let's talk about protein bites. Most of the time I see people start with a protein powder and then add peanut butter or they add some other nut butter and maybe one or two more ingredients. So the deal is that I really don't love protein powder and I think that they can be really gritty. I really, they're not my favorite to have. I like having them on hand just in case. I need a quick breakfast, but that's about it. And I honestly don't think they're delicious. And we're all about having delicious things here. So I'm gonna show you how I make my protein bites. Now I'm gonna show you two ways. The first way, I do have the recipe for this in the cooking club. So if you have not heard of Victoria's Kitchen Cooking Club, so every month I share with you four recipes and tutorials, but also we have a live cooking class at the end of the month. So this month we're making tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm gonna show you how I do it and we're gonna be done and eating within an hour. This is gonna be such a great recipe, but if you like these types of recipes, make sure you check out the cooking club and um, get in on that. So we're going to be using a magical ingredient that I found and really love using in a number of different ways. And that is quinoa flakes. So I'm gonna show you two examples of how I make my protein bites. The first is with quinoa flakes and the second is not using quinoa flakes and using my food processor. Now, to compare the two, what I have noticed is, and my husband said this the last time I made these, he kind of did a, like how you have that like really sticky peanut buttery feel on your mouth, like, you know, when you give your dog a spoonful of peanut butter. And I know that you know what I'm talking about for you dog owners. So it's the same type of mouth feel. Let me tell you, if you use the quinoa flakes, it's a little bit more hearty and you don't have that peanut buttery mouth feel. So we're just gonna add our nut butter of choice and we're gonna add our quinoa flakes. You can get really creative here and you can just add a little bit of honey, maybe some baby chocolate chips, maybe some baby white chocolate chips. But the lovely thing about these recipes is that you can add whatever you like. And if you're wondering where to get quinoa flakes, I'm gonna put a link below to Amazon. This is the brand I've purchased in the past. You can get this at a number of different re retailers online. Don't forget to label your protein bites. And by the way, if you have these glass containers with the plastic lid, you can write on there in a dry erase marker and it will just wipe right off. So the second way that we're going to make protein bites is with our food processor. And this is another option, and I just wanna make sure I showed you another way of doing it. So we're gonna start out by, instead of adding honey, we're gonna add a date. But dates can be really sticky, so we're gonna pit it first, take the pits out, and soak it in a little bit of water. And then after a while, it'll be soft, and then we can blend it up in the food processor. After that, we're going to blend up our favorite nut. I had some cashews, so I thought I'd do that. And also I had some dried blueberries, so I put that in the food processor as well. The reason I didn't add all of this together was because I don't want the cashews to become their own nut butter. I wanted a little bit of texture with these. So after we add those to the food processor, we're just gonna make sure that after every ingredient that we put it in our mixing bowl. And just a reminder, use whatever nut butters you have on hand. I usually have almond butter and peanut butter on hand. You could use or make your own cashew butter. 
you could use sunflower, whatever you wanna do. This is not a really complicated recipe. So in addition to all of those ingredients, we're gonna add some little baby white chocolate chips. And I think they add a little bit of character to these protein bites. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna roll them up and we're gonna put them in a container in the fridge. And that is all folks. That is the easiest way I could think to make a protein bite and make them without the protein powder because like I said, they're not my favorite. So I would love for you to try the quinoa uh, flakes and try it out. Let me know what you think. I think this is a really interesting way to add more texture. And I do things like I add the quinoa flakes if I'm making some type of trail mix where I'm roasting all of the nuts together. I'll add it in there for a little bit of texture, but for those of you who haven't tried that as an ingredient yet, I highly suggest and highly recommend that you give it a shot because it actually adds a little bit of uh, something special to your dish. All right, friends, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.